Hey Aquarius, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with a Daily Vibes. You know we gotta check in because it's been a little minute um, since we've done a Daily Vibes. I know, it's, I know I'm naming it Daily Vibes, but in all actuality, it's really no need to check the energy on an every single day basis. We was kind of getting repetitive messages with that. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't like hearing the same messages. I feel like collective messages should be an even switch up of all the different energies of Aquarius because I know we all are not going through the same thing so yeah I just want to take the time to cleanse the energy really quick so we're going to Paulo Santo and then play a little bit of um song the song bow so just relax you guys and if you do not like long intros then why don't you go ahead and tap that button take it a couple of 10 seconds here 10 seconds there so you can just hop straight to the read and in fact i'll time stamp it below so for those of you that's impatient go ahead and check down below for the time stamps those of you that want a little sound healing before we start and to clear the energy then let's go ahead and do a quick go round on the song bow. That feels nice. I feel at ease. Hopefully you guys do too. Alright, so we're going to hop right in, Aquarius, without further ado. If you a new Aquarius on this channel, go ahead and subscribe to the tribe. Ring that notification. Ring that bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Now, let's hop straight into this video because these cards are wanting to speak. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. So, I'm definitely getting huge transformations for a lot of us, okay? Wow, do you guys notice, like, the synchronicities in these? Like, it's a lot of butterflies in both. I don't know what's the difference between color butterflies and white, but maybe that's something we can look up when we get off of here. All right, but I'm also seeing, like, all of this rainbow color, this vibrantness, this vividness. So, we definitely shine in Aquarius. We definitely transforming. I'm definitely seeing this transference of from light to dark or from dark to light energy. So, things are definitely clearing up. Um, we are definitely becoming more self-aware. A lot of things are being illuminated about our lives right now, which are which is bringing us, like I said, great transformation, um, a lot of purity into our lives here. And it's just basically giving us the, uh, the room to fly, you know? So, yeah, that's definitely what I'm getting. Let's get one more because these cards are really popping out. Let's get one more. So we did, uh, a lot of us are formulating communities or support groups, um, or we're a big inspiration to our community at this time. People have definitely seen us change. A lot of people have like witnessed, like can see the change in 
and us individually and collectively Aquarius it's our time it's the age of Aquarius so you know it's, it's really time for us to step into our power and that's with any placement you have in Aquarius yes we got action here so we've been taking action this is a lot of resilience. I see a lot of resilience here in these cards because it's letting me know we've gone from darkness to light and we still have hope. We still been fighting through tumultuous waters here, dark nights and cloudy days. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have release. So all of this is happening because we released things. We've allowed like the autumn season for old things to kind of fall away and for us to be stripped, become completely spiritually naked so we can be built back up into a better form, into our, into our ascension, into our evolution, and into our ele uh, elevation here, all right? Let's see what's under a little bit. Ooh, inner peace. I'm loving it, Aquarius. Yes. Happiness. Oh, my gosh. Patience. That's, I don't know. That's definitely resonating with the, the Aquariuses that I know, okay? So, yes, because we have learned to release certain things, and this could have been anything from childhood wounding to the woundings of past relationships um, to situations that we may have even faced in our social circles. We're overcoming those things. We're learning how to forgive ourselves, others, release those things into the universe and pour that healing into us, pour that energy, transmute that energy into a healing energy that can actually be benefic to us as well as other individuals that are having a hard time finding their way out, becoming self-aware, releasing certain things that um, could be stagnating their lives or leaving them in the dark in some kind of way. All right, so let's see why healing chaos is here. All right, see, th these cards keep wanting to come out and clump, so y'all can have a lot going on. That was just the death card, which makes complete sense. A lot of us are um, having deaths to the ego or in the process of that happening or that can be approaching us soon here. We are coming to the end of the year. Oh, yeah, you guys, healing chaos, and this could be with individuals that really burdened you with uh, a sense of insincerity. Um, I definitely feel like uh, a lot of Aquarius and, and all the placements have, incur have encountered multiple individuals that didn't have their best interest at heart. Just people that would genuinely um, do things, maybe, you know, do things with us, for us, interact with us, but not from the heart. You know, and it left a lot of us oppressed. It left a lot of us depressed you know, Aquarius, but at the same time, it's like, we became a prisoner, a lot of us, we freeing ourselves from being a prisoner in our own minds, our own thoughts of the things that happened to us from the past, we are starting to realize that the past is behind us, and there's nothing that you can do about it, besides heal, overcome, and persevere, you know, and that's the best thing to do, so, yeah, we have had our chaotic past or whatever with people that are insincere, um, people that definitely wanted to dash our dreams and dip, dim our light. I don't like seeing the star card in reverse, but I am showing you guys that it came in reverse, but I just can't stand to see it in reverse, so I'm putting it up. Yes, negative past, like I said, a lot of soul ties, um, soul ties, addictions, different things that we could have been um, a slave to, you know, and it dashed our dreams. It, it to a degree made some of us lose our hope when it came down to love when it came down to ever being able to find a true wish fulfillment that we feel we so deserve because i mean let's just keep it real aquarius you know a lot of us come from a a, a really pure heart space like the main thing that people can say about us is that Aquarius is cold and aloof but honestly Aquarius do have emotions we just don't show it to people you know, like it's well contained, but people that's closest to us know that our emotions do run deep, that we love deep. We just don't love everybody. But once we love you, that's that, you know, and it's hard for us to let go of those individuals simply because it takes a lot to be able to, to win the affection of an Aquarius. You know, we don't trust a lot. Um, a lot of people take our kind humanitarian nature and kind of run with it. And so that develops 
after so many times of that happening, we develop trust issues, which kind of stagnate and hold us back from having healthy connections. Because if you're not open to it, how can it come to you? You know, why is community here? And that's another thing. We letting people in now. And I feel like we feeling guided to do that. Why is community here? And we noticing how much it's helping us to feel better. Why is community here, spirit? <clears throat> okay, so a lot of us are definitely studying, working on projects and things of that nature. Um, and we can be doing this with people of like minds. Um, I definitely feel like a lot of us are getting ready to, to experience unexpected change. And I do feel like it's a positive change, especially when it comes down to our work, our peace, um, our our desire to further educate ourselves. So a lot of us will be going back to school. A lot of us are going to take a hobby to the next level and see if we can make something happen or work out of it. Um, a lot of us have bright ideas and I see it. I also see Aquarius that some Aquarius here are holding back on those ideas, but spirit is saying, go for it. Like now is the time because whatever these ideas are, they can actually cultivate, you know, a prosperous future. A lot of us are at an eight of pentacles. We are very focused when it comes down to our work or our project endeavors. We are really focused. Um, we may not be letting new new energies in our life as far as dating goes because i do see the prince of discs um in a reverse as people that don't want to commit right now you know so a lot of us may not be wanting to commit right now maybe we are receiving our source of love strictly from our community you know our groups of true friends or individuals that we have a lot in common with um but yeah most of us are focused on work and school at this time is what i'm seeing here and if it's not it's a lot of autodidacts out there that are taking the time to actually teach themselves specific, you know, topics that can help um, a particular business flourish, you know. I feel like our mind is made up about a lot of different things. Yeah, and we take an action. A lot of our minds are made up. We have reached a sense of clarity what it is that we need to do, what it is that we no longer need to engage or indulge in, things that may be holding us back or causing us more grief than gratitude, you know. Why is action here? Okay, so I'm getting the universes here. So, yes, you guys are definitely stepping into a new cycle feeling hella good you see she got her smile on her face she got i don't know i'm just getting that old old song these boots are made for walking and that's just what they do and one of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you now we ain't trying to walk all over nobody now but this is us taking action into a new cycle because remember this is action and like I said, a lot of us, we, we've experienced negative towers. I feel like now it's time for an unexpected positive change to happen in our lives here. Some of us could have had some uh, possible endings of situations, but if it was, it was something very new or it was something that had yet to get off the ground. So take it as it resonates because for some of you, you're so focused that you don't want to commit, but for some of you, an actual tower did happen, maybe with a newer type of connection. So why is action here? Why is action here, spirit? Yes, look at us in our Queen of Wands energy and our rock star energy. So we hella motivated, okay? A lot of us are definitely working on health for sure because I see wands as like health, vitality, fire, sexiness, passion, creativity, I, inspiration, you know, um, charismatic energy, like just being liked, loved, being magnetic. I definitely feel like this is a season for us. Um, we enter in the winter months, which, you know, like um, 
we are the second month of the year, so a lot of our birthday seasons are coming up. So a lot of us can be um, in the mode of just kind of like, you know, on our beauty regimens or whatever the case is. A lot of us are um, on some type of diet or, you know, workout regimen. We are feeling ourselves. We are trying to revitalize our energy. We are trying to regain passion for things that, you know, certain things that we could have lost passion for. Or embarking on new journeys that we were too afraid or lacking confidence to embark on be before this here. But I'm definitely seeing a lot of us are rocking out. We are looking hella attractive to a lot of people. We can be definitely drawn in crowds here as he is a performer. Some of us are performers. Some of us are uh, music musicians. Some of us are beauty enthusiasts, you know. Oh, let's see. Some of you guys definitely are artists. Some of you guys are into graffiti artists, kind of what I'm seeing here, too. Comment down in the comment section if that's you. That's cool as hell. Wow, it's leading us to happiness, okay? This is a season of definitely overflow Man, some of you guys can be expecting. I'm not going to lie. This was the second spread. I wasn't feeling the first spread. <clears throat> the first spread was talking about, um, you know, a pregnancy being illuminated. So a lot of Aquarius can be finding out that they're pregnant in these next couple of days and or weeks. Some of you guys can be in same-sex relationships, a part of the LGBT community. Um, and it could be good news or it could be a huge surprise as it pertains to you know becoming pregnant because maybe IVFs and stuff like that you guys been doing treatments for a long time and now you finally feel like you can celebrate with the rock star here and maybe you guys been noticing because of okay I ain't gonna show her but y'all know the queen of wands normally sexy in any other deck they just will make her hard faced on this one but um a lot of you guys can be looking glowy, you know, looking glowy, hair looking flowy and everything. And it's definitely that baby that's making you look beautiful. So I'm definitely getting this energy of like when you tell the person, you know, them just like, I knew it, you know. And the reason why they knew it could definitely be because of how they've been feeling, but it also can definitely be the way you look they just knew it it's like you had this angelic glow around you that they just couldn't ignore like oh yeah they definitely about to be finding out that they pregnant you know so congratulations to the aquarius that that pertains to because of course some of us are not in the age range where we can still produce children and that's okay okay trying to get the the message out to multiple different groups of aquarius so when you hear me saying either or just take what resonates with you. But for a lot of you, you already have kids. You already have family. And you guys feeling stable. You feel happy. Your household feels complete. You feel complete within yourself, whether you are single or in a relationship. And if you are expecting, if you are finding out that you're expecting, you happy. You're happy. Okay? All right. So I'm definitely feeling like you guys are, are overcoming stagnancy. At this time, <clears throat> for those of you that fi are finding out that you're pregnant, you're definitely going to, uh, it's a huge surprise for one, but you're definitely going to be securing at home business so you can work up until, yeah, yeah, it's definitely, um, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, some of you guys are gonna be happy about finding out that you're pregnant. And for others of you, it's bad news. You know? And I guess it would be bad news, especially if you're pregnant by somebody that already have a family. That's what I'm getting here. Or if you're pregnant by somebody that you had a one-night stand with. Okay? And if it's in that type of situation, that person is gonna feel trapped. I'm getting that with the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. So we can just go ahead and clarify some energies.
Okay, why is the Knight of Cups here, Spirit, in reverse? I definitely feel like this is you guys leaving old things behind. Yes. Somebody has changed here, all right? So somebody could be wanting to come back around into your life, Aquarius, to heal chaos. This could be somebody that um, was being insincere in the past, and now they are coming back saying that they've matured. For some of you, you haven't seen this person in a long time. Maybe they do have gray hair now or some gray hairs. They ain't got to be completely salt. <laughs> See, all gray. But this person could have just changed energetically as well. What is the Ten of Wands here? Yes, man. So it could have been this person that was oppressed. This person could have also been locked up for some of you. So if you haven't seen this person for a long time, for some of you, it's because you were dealing with somebody that was locked up, whether you knew it or not. You could have just thought somebody ghosted you, but they really was in jail. Hold on. Okay, why was the star in reverse? Oh, gosh. Yeah, you guys definitely um, lost faith in a love situation. You felt ghosted by someone. You felt like um, someone either retracted their love or they never had love for you. And for a long time, it could have been devastating. But I'm definitely getting that that was an energy that you ended up letting go of here with release. You know? So I definitely feel like this is like past tense energy here where you guys are healing, evolving from things and actually taking action on a new timeline in your life. So yeah, a lot of you guys, Aquarius, you guys are losing your faith and love and don't. Just because you feel like you've come into a lot of snakes or a lot of individuals that basically didn't have your best interest at heart and were being very insincere doesn't mean that nobody ever will love you. You know, I'm getting that, that this is the type of mindset that you are trying to separate yourself from with this release. And because of that, healing is going to occur. And you are going to actually meet people of like minds, which is how you can actually meet the love of your life, you know? Not all love of your life is like, oh, love at first sight. A lot of them start off as friendships or people that you don't even see in that way, you know? Why is the Six of Cups here in reverse? Ooh, yeah, you're no longer thinking about the past. We getting thoughts in reverse. So you learning how to, like I said, transmute that energy. And I do feel like if the negative um, thoughts of the past does cross your mind here, um, that you're learning how to transmute that energy quickly. You learning not to stay stuck in that energy here. Damn. <laughs> These cards just are flipping. All right, why is the Prince of Discs or the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Because I was wondering what that is. So for some of you, it's definitely going to be turning down offers because y'all focus. You guys are focused on a new path and everything else. Yeah, journey in reverse. Some, some of you guys decided not to move forward in a new relationship that you were starting or are you not taking that journey? You're not taking any relationships right now. Okay. Things have been revealed to you. For some odd reason, I'm getting mature male and mature. Oh, gosh. Were you guys dealing with somebody younger? For some of y'all, this can be y'all kids. <clears throat> but if y'all was dealing with somebody that was younger... Y'all definitely got somebody that want to come back to y'all too. All right. So you guys can have some type of match out here. Or somebody that y'all been with for a long time. Trying to come back around at a time that you either just closed off a relationship with somebody new. Because I was getting something starting and stopping real quick. Right up in here. And it's coming out with this mature woman. So when I said y'all being Stella, was I lying? God dang, look at the age difference on this. This looks like your son. And with this here, I hope that is remote learning. Like this at you at home teaching your kids. <laughs> For real, because that's a big ass age difference. <clears throat> For some of you, this this mature woman and this younger male here is definitely the representation of, you know, 
the attachment to the mother of somebody that you could be talking to, all right? You could definitely be dealing with somebody that I don't want to say has mother issues, but they could have um, a mother that whose opinion they value very much. And if their mother didn't approve of you, then that can be why this tower happened. You know, this mature woman could be this queen of swords energy here. So, I don't know. Let's just check and see who this mature woman is. Who is this mature woman for Aquarius? Is this a motherly energy or is this Aquarius? It's definitely a choice here. So, yeah, this definitely could have been somebody that you started up with and, and made the decision to not move forth with. And it could have really just been a nice, healthy age difference because I definitely remember mentioning Stella. <laughs> Let's see. But the person that you're dealing with don't have to be this young. Damn, what if, are they 28, guys? <sighs> they could be 28. For some of y'all, 24. Oh, my goodness. 22. Some of them, some of y'all, their names start with A. Okay, spirit. So, when it comes to this mature woman, is this Aquarius in this reading? Okay, Aquarius. So it's looking like we are the mature woman in this situation. So I'm definitely getting this right. It's looking like old love, new love. Ooh. So some type of ending, some type of thing came to an end. Whoever this person is, you see them as insincere. They coming back saying that they change, but you see them as a snake, period. Something happened some heaviness happened in the past. This is somebody you had to heal from. Whew, Aquarius, this is getting hella deep, yo. All right, so let's just keep going because there's something here about new love. But honestly, I'm seeing it as not happening. It didn't happen because the journey is in reverse. So whatever happened in this situation, something was revealed here, Aquarius, where you decided not to move forward or somebody decided not to move forward with you, Okay. So let's just be clear on that. Okay, so yeah, these cards get everywhere. All right, spirit. So what is this eight of pentacles for Aquarius? Great fortune. Look at us. Oh my gosh. Not only finding our worth, focusing ourselves. So, okay, yeah. A lot of you guys try to start a new relationship. It, it, it either has yet to get off the ground or it started and it ended as quickly as it started, okay? All right, and this was a decision that you had to make because I do feel like it was a lot of guilt and grief when it came down to this. This person is still wanting to uh, visit you. So whoever this newer male is, this person is young, man. I don't feel like it's just the energy of newness. I feel like this is, um, I'm getting Aaron, Adrian, but Anthony for some of you, um, this person got something to tell you or you them. What is the moon in reverse? What's, what needs to be told, spirit, in this situation? So this person could definitely be telling you that they didn't have the best intentions for you when they met you. We just gonna keep going because maybe they do now. Maybe they just coming by to let you know, like, hey, sorry, but when I met you, I didn't have the intentions on anything with you and that can be what's causing the ending here i'm trying my best to figure out why anybody up this early blast of music okay the universe
Ooh. Listen, Aquarius, we are really coming into newness, all right? The world is definitely our oyster. I feel like we, right now, we don't have a social life. I see this as loyal friends. We're not seeing anybody as loyal right now. You know, I definitely feel like you healed yourself from chaos. You came, you in a community. Like, so this could have been somebody that started off as a friend. Maybe you caught romantic feelings for this individual. But I definitely feel like um you met somebody new. And then this person kind of came with the same energy as this last person. So at this part, at this time, you're choosing to focus on yourself and be loyal to yourself. You don't have a lot of friends right now. You know, and the ones that you did have, you just feel like they disloyal. I'm getting a lot of unexpected income. So we can be getting patronized at this time. For some of you, um, you could be winning a lottery. Or you can be um, winning some money at the casino. A lot of you could be getting some type of back pay. Or an advance. Why is the tower here? Alright, so yeah, it is a wealthy male coming in. And this is a hell of a surprise. So damn Aquarius, y'all just got hella options. And this person sees you as family. This could be somebody you got kids by. Alright, or this can be somebody that's actually in your family and your support system. Why is the rock star here? This could be the boost that you needed to get you where you was trying to go. Man, I'm telling you, all of this that's going on back here with all of these breakup, breakup, heartbreak and stuff, you, it seemed like as soon as another person do you kind of, I don't know, I don't know to call it dirty or not, but it seemed like as soon as you just turn the focus inward, all of a sudden, you just get all of this blessings, unexpected income, sudden wealth, great fortune. Everything that you've been wanting to happen is about to happen now. You can definitely begin somebody that's wanting to invest in you. This can definitely be a man that's wanting to commit to you. So it's like one door closes with this individual because they tell you whatever that they really never had no kind of intentions for you. And this person can even be telling you about some legalities from their past. Because thief in reverse, I also see as this person used to be a thief or that's on their record. Maybe that's something they wanted you to know, felt like you needed to know, but they hadn't told you yet. Why is the rock star here? Or the Knight of Wands spirit. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Wow. I told y'all. <sighs> Some of y'all done got pregnant on a one night stand. And I'm getting a girl child so far. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Somebody happy about this. But I feel like only one person happy about this and the other person is not. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups here? Damn, you see what I'm saying? Somebody definitely in despair about that. Which is understandable because it's looking like it was either very short-lived or a one-night stand or a fling or something like that. I feel like this, wow. Somebody could have lost a child. Yeah, sometimes I get so frustrated when a reader sees something that's kind of important and they choose not to say it. I really be like, why say it? And now I finally get it. I finally get it because I can't say this out loud. I can't draw myself to say this out loud. 
but I'm just going to show you guys. Okay, this can be what somebody is coming to tell you. This can be what somebody is going through. Oh, in case y'all don't see that, that's bad health and coughing. The child and despair. So, since I don't want to speak that over nobody's child or nobody that's like going into labor or anything like that, um, I just showed y'all cards instead, okay? Let me get one more on the Ten of Cups. For some of you, it's not that. It's literally that somebody had a, pa a family member pass away. They was a child to that person or a grandchild to that person and they're getting money from it. Prince of Wands in reverse. So it's like bittersweet because I'm getting a Ten of Cups here where this can change somebody's life. And that can be the unexpected income, some type of will and inheritance. Why is the Prince of Wands in reverse? So it's like bittersweet. It's bad news and good news. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, my grandfather passed away because we are getting, you know, parental energy around. You know? And so even for this individual, if things had to be cut off, this person could have had to travel at a distance to go do this. And maybe they're coming back and telling you what happened. Princess of Wands in Reverse. The Lovers. One more. Message in reverse. <sighs> hmm. Some people are actually cutting off something to come towards you too. But this can be all the same. Somebody could have lost a family member, gained a will and inheritance. Some of you guys are finding out that you're pregnant. Um, some of you guys need to make sure y'all take it easy during that pregnancy. So, guys, that was a heavy and deep message. Heavy, 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 heavy. All right? It was really heavy. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of components here that's positive, you know. But condolence to anybody that uh, may be losing a loved one in the near future or already has and is basically just trying to recover from that or heal from that. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out in the next one.